Uh, well, what's happened? The association's been closed on for a few months, and we're just um, getting the association back out, getting them started. Um, you can see some of them in the background now shooting. The basic association um, will use the course every Sunday. Um, they'll be operating here every Sunday afternoon. Um, they'll also be teaching courses here. The government community course will be taught here on this field. And we'll also probably um, have uh, alternative um, classes and stuff here through the actual club that will be set up. Um, right now it's being operated basically as an archery range that the association is using. Um, but eventually we want to turn it into a club and uh, get people competing internationally and locally. No, it was actually closed because the actual range that they had previously, uh, which was the government quarry, uh, was needed for uh, vehicle parking and stuff like that, so they had to stop using it. So now we've got uh, another range, well, this range that we're using now, that uh, hopefully we can keep a contract on and keep using it, basically. Now, do you ever get to a point where you have competition? Uh, we will be doing competitions through the summer. Right now, we're in our winter months now, so we're only shooting weekends. Um, but once the summer kicks in, we'll be shooting through the week, and we'll be starting competitions as well through the summer. Generally, how many members does the club have? Um, well, the club basically is just starting out. We've got uh, 10 people basically that come out and shoot on and off on a pretty regular basis. And then on top of that, we have the association on the Sunday afternoons that will come down. I'm not sure the number of the association right now, but they basically, there's three, four of them here today. Um, there was two here earlier, so that's six. So, you know, the numbers will, I think once we, people know about it, the numbers will come. Now, it's quite a unique art. Yes, you, definitely, you, you, you definitely. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what is the background behind shooting the arrows uh, at a distance? Well, I guess my advantage to that is, is my target shooting with, with rifles. It's very similar. There's the similar sights, the sight alignment, you know, body positioning and stuff like that. And then it's basically your equipment and, you know, getting to know your equipment and uh, putting it to use. So, there's all sorts of equipment. You've basically got the, you've got different competitions. You're going to have basic longbow competition, which is your very simple bow. Um, then you've got the recurve, which you see most of the people using behind us. And we'll also be shooting the compound bow as well. Now, we so. have people compete internationally in the recurve. Um, Yes, the Island Games, yeah. yes. Yeah. Can we see um, people participating in this time around? Def um, you'll definitely see, well, you won't see people in the Island Games this year, which is here in Bermuda, because archery wasn't uh, signed up for Island Games this year. But going forward from there, we're hoping to have a bigger, better, stronger team for future Island Games and Commonwealth Games as well.